Hello everyone, Charmin1234321 here, and what better way to start off my return to YouTube than talking about Call of Duty. And right now you're going to be watching some uh, Black Ops 3 gameplay of uh, me playing zombies there. I, I, this is really one of my first times playing this, uh, playing Black Ops 3 zombies, because I really don't. Uh, I'll get into Black Ops 3 later, but uh, here I'm here to talk about Black Ops 4. Or I sh should I say Call of Duty 15 Black Ops 4. This is the 15th game in the series. This is the 15th game. You can list it off from 2000 and... I think the series first came out in 2003. Hang on, let me count them again. I have the article over here, but I'm pretty sure the last time I counted it, it was 15 of these... 15 of these games. Hang on, let me pull it up here. Sorry for the... I should have had this up earlier, but that's alright. I like doing freestyle videos. Okay. So we have 2003, Call of Duty. That's one, Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 3, Call of Duty 4, World at War. That's Call of Duty 5. Modern Warfare 6, Black Ops 7, Modern Warfare 3, 8, Black Ops 2, 9, Ghost 10, Advanced Warfare 11, Black Ops 3, 12, Infinite Warfare 13, Call of Duty World War 2, 14, Black Ops 4, 15. Yep, this is the 15th game in this freaking series. It's spanned all the way from the freaking PS2 and Xbox to all the way to now. I know it started on the PC, but that's a different story. And it just baffles me that it's, oh, well, actually, it's just, it's gone for a long time. I started playing back in, back in the original uh, Modern Warfare days, but, uh, back then with the, me and my friends on our 360, but enough about that. I'm here to talk about Black Ops 4. Uh, so, I don't know about you guys, uh, I know this is pretty old news about how, Black Ops 4 doesn't have a campaign or single player, which is like the first in the series not to have one. I'm looking at all my games over here, and uh, yeah, I am actually very disappointed about that because I actually play the game for the single player. I'll, let, I'll have you know that I played the entire single player of every single Call of Duty that I own from Modern Warfare all the way up to black ops 3 i haven't played ghosts or infinite warfare or world war 2 i haven't really picked up a, a call of duty i haven't really been committed since black ops 2 to be honest that was the last one that i really stuck back with back in 2012 that was the last one i really like loved i think um and yeah i played the single player the single player to me was the reason was like at least half of the reason why I got the game when you think about it uh, I I love the story of, of the Black Ops series with uh, Alex Mason and then going into Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3 and now the fact that there is no single player in Black Ops 4 really makes you think about how uh, how why is it even called Black Ops then I mean, you have the multiplayer, that's, a more, that's what a lot of people go there for, I know people say a lot of people go for multiplayer, and that's fine, I like Black Ops, the style of multiplayer, I love the Black Ops 1, I love Black Ops 2, um, Black Ops 3 was pretty solid also, but, I think, it, it can be called Black Ops 4, because it has the same gameplay, and it has the same, it looks like it has the same feel, as, uh, as, as the other Black Ops games, so the, I, I feel like the multiplayer is gonna be, is still gonna be solid, like, from what I've seen so far. But, uh, moving on, I'm someone who has never played a Battle Royale game in, I have not, oh, I have played Battle Royale games, but that's a long time ago with different other games, but I've not, I've not played PUBG, and I've not played Fortnite for my own personal reasons, I will not play those games for other personal reasons, but that's a different story. Um, and I feel like, now that Black Ops 4 is going to have a Battle Royale mode that they basically scrap the single player to shoehorn in, shoehorn in a, uh, a Black... I, would, I think it's called Blackout or something like that. Blackout is the Battle Royale mode for Call of Duty now. Um, I feel like in the short term, it's going to do well. Um, well, not, not amazing, but well. And I feel like it damages the reputation of the franchise. I mean, not, not that it's already damaged enough, I mean, now it's Call of Duty, you don't... Uh, when I hear Call of Duty, when I heard it back in, like, 2010, 2009, that was the series that, that like, that you think about for high quality, uh, for 
high quality gameplay right there. Um, but now it's just <laughs> Call of Duty. You know, I think you probably have your own feelings about the the series in general. But um, I'm someone who was very disappointed with Black Ops 3, to be honest. I know I hear it's very divisive, Black Ops 3 single player, between um, people loving it and people hating it. I'm I'm on the side. I hated Black Ops 3 single player story. I thought it was it was it was totally unrelated to the Black Ops series. And all it did was say maybe one or two sentences in the whole game that related to any of the other previous games in the series. Talking about Menendez one freaking time and that's it. You never talk anything about Woods or anything like that. I know it's in the future, but the fact that it literally has almost no connection to any other game in the series. It should not have been called Black Ops 3 in the first place. Just because it had the feel and the multiplayer and the zombies and it was made by Treyarch. The feel of it is Black Ops, which is why I guess that's, I don't know, but honestly, I am someone who's very disappointed. This is this is the worst Call of Duty, Black Ops 3 was the worst Call of Duty game I've ever played by far. It is one of my, the least favorite games I've ever played, to be honest, uh, single player wise. Now, I did dive into the multiplayer just a little bit. Now, this is my first Call of, Call of Duty on the uh, PS4, other ones I have on the PS3, so, uh, I know that I have to have PlayStation Plus to play multiplayer. I did have it for a year. Um, I don't like paying for monthly things, so I, I did get PlayStation Plus for a year, and I, I played multiplayer, and it, it felt the same. It felt Black ops and it felt good. Um, but it just didn't interest me. I ended up going back to Black Ops 2 and the original Black Ops more to, uh, to play matches online, honestly. But, um, yeah, the multiplayer is, I would say, the same. It is, uh, solid feeling, and you can have a good time with, uh, with, um, multiplayer. Uh, since we're already talking about Black Ops 3, uh, I think I'm gonna dive into the zombies also. Um, I, I'm someone also who loved zombies in Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, more in Black Ops 1. Because, uh, even World at War, I liked World at War, even though I thought Black Ops did it better than World at War, but World at War was the first one to do it. But, um, the fact that I thought Black Ops 1 was very interesting, and the fact that it was more single-player driven. You can draw, you can do the Easter eggs and stuff like that by yourself, which, uh, which I prefer to do instead of organizing all your friends to try to get, come together and do it, do the, whatever Easter eggs and stuff there are, but, um... Black Ops 2 was definitely good. It was fun. It was very fun. I had a lot of good times with my friends on that, and uh, I feel like the Easter eggs just got very convoluted with like, oh, taking the the turbines and bringing them all far away into the station and things like that. Black Ops 3, I have I have played maybe four or five rounds of zombies on, in Black Ops 3. To be honest, it does not interest me at all. And trust me, I love the 1920s aesthetic, and I love like that era with the music and, and and everything like that but it does it is just not interesting to me at all i think the with the, the monster that those like monsters and creatures inside of there they just don't they don't like they don't really interest me at all i feel like uh just playing zombies just boarding up barricades and i feel like you're forced almost this story is forced in your face to do uh, the sort of Easter eggs and things like that, I would say. But anyway, sorry, I got sidetracked there. I got to talk more about uh, Black Ops 4. I might dive back into Black Ops 3 and the rest of the Black Ops. I'll probably make a video on the on the entire my, my own perspective on the Black Ops series eventually. But now, um, moving back on to Black Ops 4. I'm sorry, I left for a tangent there, <laughs> real quick. All right, Call of Duty 15, Black Ops 4. It, it just uh, just say that to yourself. Call of Duty 15. Can you imagine any other series going to 15? I mean, except like Final Fantasy 15 or whatever. I guess because I guess that has a really hardcore community, like really uh, dedicated community there. But um, I don't know. It's not as big as Call of Duty or whatever. But um, anyways, the fact that the rumors were that the single player in Black Ops 4 was gonna be like a, this sort of slightly in between a little after black ops 3 on how like it's the future and this massive solar flare from the sun destroyed all the technology from the earth because it, it acted like it, a sort of emp sort of like that destroying all frying all the electronics on earth and basically sending mankind back into the 
back into a more uh, primitive age. And uh, there's like these these, these uh, clans that uh, can that still harvest. If you ever played Horizons Zero Dawn, it's a little bit like that idea. How like how like mankind is like sort of fallen, but there's still these like tribes around, and you you still have pieces of advanced technology around you that people can use and harness and things like that. And um, yeah, that's sort of the same idea. That that those are just rumors. I'm not totally sure if that was the actually the story of of uh, Black Ops 4, but that's just what I heard. And it sounds like it could that could work. I mean, as long as it obviously has freaking connections to the original Black Ops series and it has an interesting story, my god, I can't I cannot tell you how disappointed I was with Black Ops 3. I just did not like it at all. But okay. Um But yeah, and then I see the zombie mode in Black Ops 4. And it feels like more of the same from Black Ops 3, which if you like the zombies in Black Ops 3, good good on you, because uh, if you can enjoy something that I can't, then that, yeah, that's fine. You can you can like whatever you want to like. It doesn't bother me, because it makes you if, you, if you have fun playing it, that's the only thing that matters. If you're playing a game that you have fun with, that's good. That's good. Yeah, th that's good for whatever you want to do, and like, as long as you're obviously not like... <laughs> addicted playing 48 hours straight or something like that and then it's fine um it personally does not interest me the zombies at all it's just another four uh four characters of uh and it takes place on the titanic i know one of them there's three different zombie maps or modes or whatever one of them takes place in the titanic and i love the titanic man i love like not just the movie or whatever, okay, not, not, not about the movie, but I love, like, the history, like, the actual, if you, if you look into the actual things that happened on the Titanic when it was sinking, it's actually a lot of, some fucked up stuff, but, uh, a lot of, a lot of really sad stuff that happened, I, I can make a video on that too later on, but, anyway, but, the fact that I should love this, like, Black Ops 3 and Black, Black Ops 3 with its 19 to, like, 20s aesthetic or whatever, and this is kind of the same for me, like, I'm seeing this Titanic setting, and I should love this stuff, but it just doesn't appeal to me. I, I got bored in the trailer, to be honest, and, uh, it seems a lot more story-driven, like, almost like a mini-story-driven or whatever, than, uh, than driven by the actual gameplay, which is what I loved about the original, uh, Black Ops world at war and, and even in uh, most of black ops 2 i say most of black ops 2 was still about survival and things like that definitely because i never really got the dlc and moved on like that but um yeah i definitely i just played for because it was fun i played because because i thought the zombies was very fun and um yeah it's, it just really makes me sad to see that i feel like this, i just gotta you know jump off the I, i've jumped off the the zombie train from a while ago, honestly, when I when I think about it, but um, that's all right, I guess. I'll I'll move on to something else. Plus, I can still play the original games, uh, as long as the PS3 servers are still up, <laughs> and then maybe I'll just move to PC after that. But um, yeah, it just really. Oh, there's also the uh, that sort of Colosseum Roman style of I, I'd say it's like a, a pseudo Roman zombie thing that yeah that i don't have much to say on that it doesn't i i also i love rome and the history of the roman empire the roman republic caesar pompey and uh, uh, claudius tiberius and Nero, nero all those guys but it again it i should like this but i just don't it's not interesting to me i don't know about you guys if you guys can let me know down in the comments what you think about it like that would be appreciated um, we'll see how the, the Battle Royale mode comes out again, um, honestly, I feel like I'm some, I've never played a Battle, I never played Fortnite, never played PUBG, so, I'm not good, I'm, I'm not planning on picking up Black Ops 4, but, um, I don't see this as something, anything to change my mind over. I feel like Blackout, I think that's what it's called, is going to be solid, I feel like it is going to be... It's going to do well enough, I would say. It's going to be, yeah, it's it's there. It's fun. It has its own community, and uh, or maybe it'll just die off entirely. But I feel like it's not going to do any better than that. Um, yeah, there's not there's not much else I can add on this stuff, but um, at least nothing that I can think of off the top of my head. But um, 
Again, I am seriously disappointed that, again, there is no single player in this game after after putting in since uh, 2010, at least, which the original Black Ops, I, I, that was, I think that was the first Call of Duty I really bought. First one I played was, uh, was Modern Warfare, the original one, and, uh, first one I ever bought was Black Ops. So I definitely have a childhood connection. I, I forget, I had Black Ops 1 on my Wii. That's, I had Black Ops 1 on my Wii. And that was an interesting experience. I have it on the PS3 now, but, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's so weird to see how, and sad to see how, how, I don't know, the things that you like just kind of disinterest you and you kind of hop off of it, but, hey, I guess that's how a lot of things are now, so, well, in, in this series at least, but, um, yeah, let me guys know what you guys think about this, and, uh, Hmm. We'll see how it goes from there. I'll talk to you guys in the comments below because uh, not many people making, not many, uh, it's going to take a while to get this community back together once they see. And plus, I just posted my first video again a few hours ago. But, um, yeah, I'll get this video up and then we can talk about it in the comments below. Let me know if you disagree, agree, I don't care because you're entitled to your own opinion. I want to say this, say this first off. You're entitled to your own opinion. You can believe what you want to believe. Just don't push your beliefs on anyone else if they don't want you to. Uh, let's try to have a civil civil discussion. Um, I don't think that anyone's opinion is necessarily wrong. I can disagree. You can disagree with mine. That's fine. Um, yeah, so just let me guys know what you think in the comments below, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. All right, see ya.